this morning's message and prayer, beloved, is something we have to do with all the aggression God has given to us. It will be a tragedy if we keep quiet when the divine rain is falling. What the Lord wants us to deal with here this morning before we go, and which is going to form the topic of this message, is what I call sending back evil arrows. Sending back evil arrows. Can you say that and let me hear you? Let's look into some scriptures very quickly so that you know where we are this morning. And let me tell you, this is a message that has no mercy on the enemy. And the prayers today shall show no mercy to every enemy of our souls. I know there is somebody here this morning that your enemies shall cry. To that person, shout a loud hallelujah. I know there is somebody here this morning too who shall have the last laugh over all the enemies. If you are that person, shout it loud, hallelujah. Psalm 7. Look at what it says in verse 16. Psalm 7, verse 16. Are we there? It says this. His mischief shall return upon his own head. I, it was, it's not Dr. Luca that wrote that one. It's inside the Bible. His mischief shall return upon his own head. And his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pet. That's what the Bible says. Look at verse 15. He made a pit and digged it and is falling into the ditch which he made. Open straight to Psalm 35 verse 8. Psalm 35 verse 8. He says, let destruction come upon him at unawares and let his net that he had eat catch himself. Into that very destruction let him fall. All this is talking about sending back evil arrows. Go straight back to the book of Nehemiah. You find your Nehemiah after Esther and after Job. Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 4. So let's show you this once in scripture. So you won't say, what kind of doctrine are they preaching there today? Nehemiah 4, 4. Hear our God, for we are despised, and turn their reproach upon their own head. And give them for a prey in the land of captivity. In the same Nehemiah chapter 13, verse 2, Nehemiah 13, 2, look at something else God can do. Because they met not the children of Israel with bread and with water, but hired Balaam against them, that he should curse them. I believe our God turned the curse into a blessing. I pray that every curse issued against your life shall be converted to blessings. It shall be converted, it shall be converted, it shall be converted to blessings. In the name of Jesus. Now go right back to the book of Esther. Esther chapter 7 verse 10. Esther 7 10. Note these scriptures very well. Esther 7 10. So they hanged Haman on the gallows that he had prepared for Mordecai. What? The, is, the instrument that it prepared against Mordecai backfired. This is what has happened there in scripture. Something happened in South Africa. It's an example of what we're talking about this morning. It was in the news. An armed robber was mistakenly killed by his own gang member. They went to steal somewhere and his own colleagues shot him down. That's what they call sending back evil arrows. And I think it was about a month ago or so, somebody was giving a testimony at the headquarters. He said he came for one of our services. And the Lord said, I somebody here, the enemy wants to kill you, but that arrow has backfired. So he said that day, they were going and some armed robbers accosted them. And he tried to shoot at this person. And the gun refused to walk. I said, well, say, ah, but I've just used this gun. Why is it not working now? 
He aimed the gun at this person. I was trying to shoot him, but the gun refused to cooperate. But while he was fiddling around with the gun, the gun went off and blew off his own hand, giving that person an opportunity to run away. I pray that the bullets of your enemies shall destroy them. If I were in your shoes, my amen would be loud and clear. I also pray that every evil plan against your progress shall return to the sender. You know, God told King Jehoshaphat, so don't worry, say these enemies that are coming against you, by the same way in which they came, by that same way they shall go back. And by the time they were going back, they went back in scattered pieces. The Bible says the last days will be characterized by intensive satanic revival. Revelation 12, 12 tells us that war unto the earth and unto the sea. For the devil has come against you in great wrath, knowing that he hath but a short time. The Bible makes us to understand that the wicked will fire arrows at the righteous. That one is very clear from scripture. And you'll be very naive and very foolish to believe that you no one is interested in attacking your life. It will be very naive and stupid for you to say, I don't have enemies. God himself has enemies. In Psalm 11 verse 2, Psalm 11 verse 2 tells us, For lo, the wicked bend their bow, they make ready their arrow upon the string, that they may privily shoot at the upright in heart. The Bible tells us that arrows shall be fired at the righteous. I knew a girl who went to the examination hall. She had studied, she had read, she had prepared. And everything was okay. They gave them the question papers. She looked at the question paper. She found that it's an exam she could pass very well. But as she took a pen and wanted to start writing, any time she touched that pen, there would be violent vibration in her hands. And she could not write anything until the examination was over. An arrow was fired into her hand. The Bible also tells us about the arrows that fly by noonday. The Bible makes us to understand that we are not to live in this world as someone does not understand the world where he or she is. When wicked arrows are fired against a person, three things may happen. The arrows may enter into the person's life and that's what happened in most cases. Arrows may bounce off. The third thing is that the arrow may miss the person and eat another person. When arrows are fired like this, what God does for his people is what you sometimes, what, what sometimes happens is what you find in Proverbs 11, 8. This is what God sometimes does for his people when arrows are fired like this. In Proverbs 11, 8, the Bible says the righteous is delivered out of trouble and the wicked commit in his stead. When evil is dispatched like this, the Lord removes the righteous, replaces the righteous with another person. Just like the Bible says that God can give life for your life. It's important for you to know how to send back evil arrows back to the sender. Many weapons and arrows of darkness are being used today. And the attack of the enemy against us may be so terrible that they don't want to mind how many casualties are suffered. These are not days to be ice cream Christians. There are many weapons and arrows of the enemy operating in so many lives these days. You find people being choked on their beds. People hear voices from the spirit world. Insanity is on the rise now. And most of them claim to be hearing voices. A sudden depression comes upon a very happy person. All of a sudden, the person becomes sad. Some suffer from needless fear. Some just have a, some paralytic wind blow upon them. And then before you say, Jesus is Lord, there is trouble. Some complain of cold chill at night in a hot room. There are some, they just feel that their heads are becoming heavier and heavier and heavier. And the head, there is no extra weight on that head. Some have taking food and they found strange items in the food. Some have found insects, all kinds of things in the food and they didn't know how it got there. There have been cases of people who slept and when they woke up, something has been cut off from their body. It's so terrible now that they even send physical idols to people. People actually, they are in their room and this physical object moves in. They do all kinds of things to people. 
people stay in locked rooms with windows are not open. All of a sudden, you find bats and birds inside the room. They send physical and spiritual snakes to people. Some complain about heat in the head or as if wind is blowing through the head. It's the arrow of darkness. Some complain of people calling their name at night from the sleep. Many dream and what they would normally, ordinarily don't eat. They will force feed them with those things in their dreams. You find sisters complaining of being molested sexually in the dream by a female with male reproductive organs. They send emergency force messages to people and they send this feeling of lifelessness onto people. We are here this morning to do a particular operation to return all these arrows, conscious, unconscious arrows, back to wherever they came from. Many here today have been attacked at one time or the other by these evil weapons. If you were attacked when you were a baby and you didn't do anything about it, the, those arrows are probably still in you now. If you were attacked before you got born again and you are not aware there is an arrow, the arrow is probably still in you there. If you were attacked when you were ignorant and you didn't know what to do, the arrow is probably still in you now. But something I know will happen today is this. As many arrows that have been planted into the life of the righteous shall go back to the senders in the name of Jesus. With years and years of experience in prayer, evangelism, deliverance, and ministrations, we have been able to identify different kinds of arrows that we have come across. I will tell you the major ones that are prepared and fired into people's lives. I want you to understand something. When someone is so wicked and disobedient as to fling witchcraft curses, witchcraft arrows on people, they must be stopped. We can't just wait and let them do whatever they want to do. They have to be stopped. I remember something that happened many years back. We were at a crusade somewhere at Evans Square in Yaba. And as the crusade was going, all of a sudden, thunder struck. The microphone became practically ashes. And the whole of the crusade went into darkness. Or the man of God there knew what to do. He shouted in his voice, he said, everybody stand up. And they stood up. And he said, what has happened now is an arrow of darkness. He said, all of you will now raise up your voices. And say, evil arrows, go back to your sender. They prayed like mad prophets at that crusade. The light came back on. They now started using megaphones. Few minutes to that time, a man was rushed into the crusade. I have never seen that kind of thing before. And I don't want to see it again. This man, it was as if somebody came to him and used knife to cut off the whole of his skin and put his skin on the floor. They brought him on a wheelbarrow. He was the head of the native doctors in that area. He was the one that sent the arrow. So when the believers now said, back to the senders. The arrow that he sent, he had no power to contain it. When you command bad prayers, evil arrows that are against you to return to their chest, they are in trouble. When you return the arrows back to the senders, you were not the one that initiated it. But you are merely sending it back to the originator. Satanic agents are normally afraid when their arrows are sent back to them. But then is the principle of scripture. A man died in the place of Mordecai. Those who arranged for Daniel to be put in lion's den were the ones who were eaten by the lions. Those who threw Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into the fire were the ones who were destroyed by the fire. The giant sword that Goliath brought to kill David was the same sword they used to cut off his head. I pray that this morning before you leave this place, your Goliath shall destroy itself. In the name of Jesus. The enemy sends arrows to people. There is arrow of disfavor. There is arrow of satanic anger. Just like it happened to Moses when he was about to enter the promised land. There is arrow of failure. There is arrow of unexplainable health problems. There is arrow of academic and career frustration. There is arrow of almost dear or near success syndrome. There is arrow of joblessness. There is arrow of untimely death. There's arrow of vagabond life. There's arrow of insanity. There's arrow of poverty. There's arrow of building and not living inside. 
there is arrow of marital distress, there is arrow of suicidal tendencies, there is arrow of addictions, there is arrow of unexplainable gynecological problems, there is chain problems, arrow of chain problems, there is arrow of confusion, there is arrow of being disgraced out of breakthrough, there is arrow of infirmities, there is arrow of demotion, the arrow of hardship. There is arrow of dream oppression. There is arrow of strange accident. There is an arrow of mark of hatred. We just hate you without any cause. There is arrow of constant spiritual attack. There is arrow of torment. No wonder the Bible talks about the fiery darts of the enemy. There is arrow of paralysis. There is arrow of attack on one's children. There is arrow of business failure. There is arrow of tragedy. There is arrow of spiritual blindness. There is arrow of sin, but not attaining. There is arrow of strange woman. The arrow of strange woman can be fired into the life of a man. There is arrow of bad houses. There is arrow of stagnancy. There is arrow of devourers. There is arrow of satanic delay. There is arrow of buried talents and virtues. There is arrow of disappearance of helpers. There is arrow of having to fight hard and fight hard before you get anything done. There is arrow of just always in the wrong position, wrong position. There is arrow of depth. There is arrow of prayer paralysis. There is arrow of evil diversion. There is arrow of bewitchment. There is arrow of gradual dispossession. There is arrow of profit starvation. There is arrow of unexplainable loss of very good things. There is the arrow of homelessness. The arrow of leaking pocket. There is arrow of success manipulation there is arrow of drug dependence there is arrow of shame there is arrow of fruitless efforts so the enemy has prepared his arrows and is firing it at the righteous what do you do to send back these arrows the first thing to do is to plead the blood of Jesus you plead the blood of Jesus and you have to try and learn the blood scriptures all the scriptures that have to do with the blood of Jesus. The second thing you should do is to learn warfare prayers. And that will involve you to learning warfare scriptures. The third thing you should do is to learn to send the arrows back to the senders. When there is an arrow in place and it's not out yet, God in his mercy, who does not want his people to be destroyed, comes to them sometimes in their dreams and be showing them things to indicate that there is something you should address so all the dreams of properties being carried away by flood is indication of an arrow all the dreams of walking in slippery ground is, is an indication of arrows all the dreams of the cap or the hat being blown away is an indication that there is an arrow in, in, in place all the dream of things being stolen away from you is an indication that there is an arrow all the dreams of your name missing from important list shows that there is an arrow in place. Dreams of counting pennies and counting coins when you should be counting paper notes is an indication that there is an arrow. All the dreams of giving out money to people you don't know is an indication that there is an arrow. All those injection dreams is an indication that there is an arrow. All the dreams of picking eggs and picking rotting things is an indication that there is an arrow. When God begins to show you this kind of troublous dreams. He's telling you there is something in place you need to address, you have not addressed. And once some dreams begin to repeat and repeat and repeat themselves, what God is telling you that is that there is still a trouble you have not solved. We have work to do here this morning to force the arrows of darkness to go back to where they came from. I was a crusade we had many years ago and we are at the altar like this. Men of God were on the altar. It was an open air crusade. And as the message was going on, right down, down below, some men gathered. I could see them. They gathered in a circle. They were doing something inside that circle. Whatever they were doing, when they finished, something just rose up from their middle and began to trans travel far, fast to the pulpit. And I saw it coming. I saw it coming. When it was about to get to the pulpit, it distributed itself to as many men of God as were there. But as the thing was about to reach the altar, 
The thing made a roundabout turn. I started going back. I was still watching. I was watching. The men had not dispersed. The thing struck them where they were. Many fell down, couldn't move. Some ran away. I pray, beloved, that every power assigned to destroy you shall destroy itself in the name of Jesus. I remember that brother who used to preach every morning in a particular location. He didn't know that he was annoying some powers. So one day all the witch doctors, native doctors gathered together in that area. And the agenda was to destroy this brother. They wanted to kill him. So they gathered. So said, this man who is disturbing us every morning must be destroyed. So they prepared their juju, their magic. It was like a drum. The face of a drum. The idea is that they will call the brother. His face will appear on the surface of the drum. And then they will stick a knife through that drum. And the brother will bleed to death. They brought the best expert to come and do it. I pray that any satanic expert assigned against you shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. They brought the expert. So he started his incantations. He was supposed to call the brother's name three times. He called him the first time. No face appeared. He called him a second time. No face appeared. He called a third time. The brother's face appeared. And they brought out their knife. As, as it remained just a split second. For that knife to touch the drum. The face changed. To the face of the man with the knife. And it happened so quickly. He could not stop. He put a knife through his own face. And he fell down on the floor. I pray. At any power observing your face in a mirror. In order to destroy you. They shall be put to shame in the name of Jesus. Rise up on your feet now, beloved. The time has now come when we should send back these arrows back to the sender. It will be a tragedy if you go home from this meeting with any arrow in your life. Because the anointing to send those things back to the senders is already all over this place. All eyes closed. But you see, if you are here this morning and you are not born again, you have not surrendered your life to Jesus, you cannot send back any evil arrow. So wherever you are, while all eyes are closed, you say, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. Just leave that seat very quickly and run to the front here. Very quickly, very quickly. Don't waste time. Jesus is waiting for you here. Those of you at the front, I congratulate you. Taking the most important decision in life. Close your eyes. Bow down your head. And say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of life. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for these your children here who have taken this very, very important decision. I pray that it shall be well with you. And the Lord will keep you standing by his power. He will do great and marvelous things for you. Today that you have surrendered your life to Jesus, every arrow of darkness shall be disgraced. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Right there where you are.
Our counselors will discuss with you. The rest of us, let's sit down and quietly confess our sins to the Lord. Any sin that will hinder you from receiving mighty deliverance today, ask the Lord to forgive you. Tell him you don't want to go home the same. Tell him you want his power upon your life. Do so now. Let's rise up on our feet now. As we begin to pray these prayers, many kinds of things will begin to happen all at the same time. I want you to pray with concentration, with boiling anger. Maybe you've been attacked. Your family has been attacked. Your children has been attacked. Your career has been attacked. Your spiritual life has been attacked. 
you have a wonderful opportunity to send these arrows back to wherever they came from. As you begin to pray this first prayer, I want you to pray now. There are people here that familiar spirits have fired arrows into their lives to make sure that they die this year. These people are between the ages of 40 and 43. As we start prayer now, the arrows will go back to the senders. As you pray this prayer through, if you are that person that the enemy fired an arrow into your leg and the leg is swelling like balloon, all of a sudden you feel the touch of the power of God upon that leg and it will return to the normal size. As many people as are here that have the arrows of paralysis and stroke fired against them, the arrows of chronic arthritis, the arrows of internal rottenness, the arrows of cancer, all these arrows shall vanish immediately for they shall go back to the senders. Now you will shout this louder than anyone here. You shout it loud and clear. Don't allow anybody's voice to overshadow your own. As you decree this with a commanding tone. Arrows of darkness! Are signed against me. Hear the word of the Lord. Gather together. That's the first command. Let's gather all the arrows. Sisters, are you here this morning? Sisters, pray. Arrows of darkness are signed against me. Hear the word of the Lord. Gather in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to gather them. Gather them together. Masika poya bo shendera bo kotora ba santa. Open your mouth and declare it. Masopola kaya bo shendera boka. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> All right. We have to do it one more time. There are people here that are things the enemy have planted in your body now. The Bible calls them strangers. You notice they move about in the body. You notice they come to choke your heart. It's because of those kind of people who want to pray this prayer again. Arrows of darkness are signed against me. Hear the word of the Lord. God, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare it. Gather them together. Something is happening already. They are it's happening now, it's happening now, it's happening now. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. Silence, beloved. Many things are happening here. Yes. And some seven persons who are receiving some really special deliverance where they are. That's right. Let the legs be released. Let the ties be released. Let the womb be released. Let the stomach be released. Let the heart be released. Let the liver be released. Let the kidney be released. Let the eyes be released. Let the head be released. Let the backbone be released. In the name of Jesus. Aha. Aha. You will now pray the second prayer like this. In this very aggressive song. Now that you've gathered the arrows together. It's now for them to get the second instruction. And the instruction is in this song. Which I want you to sing like fire and like thunder. Not allow anybody's voice to overshadow your voice. Sing it like a warrior. Sing it from your heart. Sing it with faith. 
believing that as you are saying it, that is happening like that. Are you ready? Evil arrows go back to your sender. Evil arrows. Evil arrows. Evil arrows. Evil arrows. In Jesus' name. Evil arrows. Oh, yes. Evil arrows. Evil arrows. In Jesus' name. Go back to your sender. Go back to your sender. Go back to your senders. Go back to your sender. Evil arrows. Evil arrows. Evil arrows. Evil arrows. Evil arrows. In Jesus' name, man. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Maso kapo ya boshende rabo kota rabo sanda. Ribo soponde ke ya boshente raba. Nakatonda ka ya boshente raba. Aha, aha. Amen. If you came here with any infirmity, this is the time to lay your hands on that place. As we pray the first arrows back to the senders. Father, as we raise up our voices now, let your healing power begin to take place. Let every arrow of infirmity go back to the senders. Let there be no infirmity that will remain in place. In the name of Jesus. Shout this after me with boiling anger. Arrows of infirmity. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. Let them backfire now. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Receive the touch of the healing power of God. Receive it. 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 Aha. 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 In Jesus name we pray. Check your body now. Do what you cannot do before. Check your body now. The powers that have been ringing evil bells in one ear has now been silenced. This terrible medical report has now been silenced. The terrible skin disease has been wiped away. The swellings in the body have been melted away by the power of God. The heaviness in the head, the heaviness by the neck has been melted away by the power of God. Check your body very well. Things are happening all over the place. Aha. This is the first arrow is the arrow of infirmity and is going back to the senders. That's right. The one on that child too. The arrows in the life of that child is going right back to the senders. Just check the child. Check the child. The arrow is going back to the senders. The arrows of unexplainable flow of blood has come back to the senders. The arrows of not being able to bend has been sent back to the senders. Look at what is happening over there. Look at what is happening over there. I see a woman at the back of that place. You had a dream that you were thrown into the well. The power of God is bringing you out of the well that the enemy has thrown you inside. Thank you, Jesus. If you check your body now and you find that you have been healed, quietly find a way to the altar here so that we can pray with you the enemy we don't bring back the problem quietly find a way to the altar here we are praying against the second arrow can you shout this louder than anyone here arrows of untimely death is that the loudest you can shout it backfire 
In the name of Jesus. Arrows of untimely death. Backfire, 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 backfire. In the name of Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody will shout this third one loud and clear. Arrows of poverty. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. Masika poya bo shende rabo kotenda raba. Bakatora bo sopola kayaba. There must be a backfiring effect. Enough is enough. Receive your deliverance. Receive it, receive it, receive it. Receive it, receive it. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. God is touching the eyes of somebody and also the legs of somebody that they say had a, tr- had a problem. Problem is being melted away from that leg. Someone here, the enemy has been stealing from you since you were born. In fact, you came to this program from somewhere else. The enemy has been stealing from you. That arrow of loss has come back to the senders. Shout this louder than anyone at this meeting. Arrows of witchcraft. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha. 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 Oh, Jesus. Begin to move in your power. Move. Move in your power. Move in your power. Move in your power. Jesus. Jesus. Something is happening over there. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence once again. Just. Look at what is happening. As many people as are here this morning, and as an arrow of witchcraft in the body, the power of God is coming upon you where you are, and that yoke is broken completely. That's the first person. Number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, number ten, number eleven, number twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yes, it's happening all over the place. Ah. Ah. Amen. This prayer, don't say, I don't think it concerns me. Pray it anyway. Arrows of failure. My life is not your candidate. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. Amongst the people by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This is very interesting. Look at what is happening here this morning. The next arrow that should go back to the senders. Don't joke with that one too. Hmm. Arrows of failure 
at the edge of success. Can you shout it louder than anyone here? Backfire! In the name of Jesus. I refuse to fail at the edge of success. Jesus. Maria no kosaponde ke yabo shente yaba mana rebo sa marna rebo sepia mana rebo kopoda ka mana rebo sepia le katanda bosa tende ke yabo shente yes Open your mouth, open your mouth. Jesus is here. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. And is receiving a new organ in the body. An organ that the enemy has destroyed. A new one is coming into place. Somebody here. The Lord is ushering you into great wealth. Because the, the owners of evil load have carried their load now. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Aha. 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 Yes. You, the arrows of lump in the breast, come out now. And go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus. You shall not die but live. To declare the works of God. Now, sister, check yourself. When the problem has vanished, let's find a way to the altar here. Thank you, Jesus. This next arrow, we want to send him back three hot times. Let nobody sit down now. Not at this time. Arrows of household wickedness. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Open your mouth and pray it again. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Open your mouth and pray it again. Yes, the must backfire. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha. So many things are happening. Now, say this. Evil load. A sign against my life. Hear the word of the Lord. God. In the name of Jesus. Command evil loads to gather. They must go back to the senders today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha, uh-huh. now that the loads are here. Say, owners of the evil Lord. Carry your Lord by fire. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. They must carry their loads. In 
Jesus name we pray thank you Jesus now if you have ever been attacked in your dream whether it's happening now it has happened before this is the time to send back those arrows arrows of dream attacks back fire in the name of Jesus yes something is happening something is up arrows of dream attacks by fire by fire by fire in Jesus name we pray now pick a song of praises where you are and begin to sing it loud and clear to the king of kings and to the lord of lords what a mighty god we serve glorious in holiness fearful in praises doing wonders thank you jesus 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 amen thank you jesus Father, I thank you for this, your children at the front here. And I thank you for all the signs and wonders you have done here today and the ones you are yet to do. Father, I cover the signs and wonders and the miracles with the blood of Jesus. And I decree that your miracle shall be permanent. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You may go back to your seat and apart from those who have interviewed here. Glory be to the name of Jesus. But if you have received an outstanding testimony, don't go back. Make sure you talk to somebody so that the devil will not bring it back upon your life. Thank you, Jesus. If you believe the Lord has touched you here this morning, shout it loud, hallelujah. Let's pray these prayers for our country, Nigeria. Say this loud and clear. Every agent of darkness assigned against Nigeria scatter in the name of Jesus let's open our mouth and declare it in Jesus name we pray so every power assigned to cause confusion in this country we bury you now in the name of Jesus. Powers are assigned to cause confusion in this nation. We bury you now. In Jesus name we pray. Say so, oh, all prince of peace. Reign in Nigeria. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare that one too. In Jesus' name we pray. Lay your right hand on your head now. Henceforth, no evil arrow shall locate my head. It, it is to your own advantage, beloved. To shout that prayer with holy anger. As for no evil arrow shall locate my head. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus name we pray say thank you Jesus these 21 prophetic prayers the louder your amen the faster your breakthroughs if you say amen to these 21 prayers and your voice goes away but you receive your breakthrough you have made a powerful bargain I decree by the decree of heavens that every buried greatness of your father's house shall resurrect your life in the name of Jesus it shall resurrect your life in the name of Jesus 
In the name of Jesus, I decree by the power of God that the almighty God will over answer your prayers of breakthrough. He shall over answer. He shall over answer. He shall over answer. He shall over answer. In the name of Jesus. Masoka Porabo Shandera. I decree by the power of God and by the bulldozing power of the Holy Ghost. Every obstacle on your way of greatness, I command them to die. In the name of Jesus. 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 I decree that whether it is convenient for the enemy or not, God shall be God in all your situations. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare by the power of God that if the enemy has placed your hand on the program of failure, take your hands off in the name of Jesus. Take your hands off in the name of Jesus. I pray that the vulture of your father's house planning to feed on the carcass of your destiny shall die the vulture shall die the vulture shall die in the name of jesus i decree that for the rest of this year every tragedy left in the year shall not include yourself or your family in the name of jesus the oil of breakthroughs the oil of gladness the oil of favor assigned to your head shall not run dry. It shall not run dry. In the name of Jesus, any pattern of darkness that has enveloped your life shall be broken. 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 In the name of Jesus, every good thing the Lord has deposited into your life shall manifest by fire shall manifest by fire thank you Jesus the Lord your God shall make the right people to help you at the right time in the right place in the name of Jesus every curse issued against you I decree that they will be converted to blessings in the name of Jesus Whatever the enemy is planning to be your worst time shall be converted to your best time. In the name of Jesus, I decree by the decree of heaven that because of you, your family shall not know poverty. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I decree that the rest of this year shall be a time of uncommon breakthroughs for you in the name of jesus i pray that you shall not struggle to be recognized your god shall announce you 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 in the name of jesus i decree by the power of god that the son of your life shall not listen to the voice of witchcraft the son of your life shall arise and shine in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The power of God shall single you out for honor. In the name of Jesus. The power of God that has no respect for impossibility shall swallow up your problems. And I decree that every grip of darkness upon your life shall be broken. In the name of Jesus. I decree by the power of God that your God shall arise. Your story shall change. Your God shall arise. Your story shall change. Your God shall arise. Your story shall change. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, the Lord has designed this month to make many people multimillionaires. This month, all you need to do where you are now is to make a secret vow with the Lord, between you and the Lord. That if he will carry out his own part of the contract, this is what you will do for the Lord too. Don't say, but I don't have anything that I want to do now. 
This is our, an arena of faith and uncommon breakthrough. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha. Yes, the angels of answered prayers. They are already working. Of people who are here today. I congratulate you for coming here today. His hand, which is a mighty hand, is already upon you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm bold. I'm strong. For the Lord my God is with me. I'm bold. I'm strong. For the Lord my God is with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, this because I walk in faith and victory. Because I walk in faith and victory. For the Lord, my God, is me. Sing it loud and clear. I'm bold. I'm bold. I'm strong. For the Lord, my God, is with me. I'm bold. I'm strong. For the Lord, my God. Hallelujah, I am not afraid. Hallelujah, I am not dismayed. Because I walk in faith and victory. Because I walk in faith and For the Lord, for the Lord, my Lord is with me. Sing it again loud and clear. I'm bold. I'm bold. I'm strong. For the Lord, my God is with me. I'm born, I'm strong, for the Lord my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because I walk in faith and victory. Because I walk in faith and victory. For the Lord my God is sweet. Shout hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. Now listen very, very carefully to this spiritual announcement. As many vehicles as you have, if you have a car or vehicle, make sure within the next 48 hours, you anoint them with oil. Do you understand? Within the next 48 hours, don't give it to somebody else to do. Go there yourself and anoint them with oil for complete shield and protection. And you say, I anoint you by the power in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Send this message across to other believers or your family members. Glory be to the name of Jesus.